Hi, Ryan Scott here representing IMI Sensors with another installment of Tips from Tex. If you do route-based monitoring at your facility, then you're probably using a magnetic mount. So today we're going to talk about the improper and proper ways to use a magnetic mount. So let's get started and talk mounting. Here I have my accelerometer and I have screwed in a magnetic mount. This pump over here is just for demonstration. It doesn't have to be a pump, it can be whatever machine you need to use. So first I want to locate a flat spot on my machine. Um, it's better to mount an accelerometer on a flat spot and it's best to do it on a mounting pad. So here I have my flat spot and I have installed a mounting pad. If you have neither, so make sure you place a target on your machine. This will ensure your readings are more accurate um, from week to week, month to month. Depends on how often you take your measurements. The improper way to mount an accelerometer is to just kind of slap it on there. Now you can hear the noise it makes and what it's telling you is you've now saturated the accelerometer. Um, your readings will be inaccurate and not only will they be inaccurate on this machine but they could be inaccurate at future points. So you want to try to avoid that. The proper way to use a magnetic mount is to roll the accelerometer on. So we're going to come up, be nice and gentle, and roll it on. If you only have a curved surface, you want to make sure you're using a dual rail magnetic mount. Now the dual rail also can be used on a flat surface, as I just showed you. So it kind of covers both aspects. And what you want to do is take the magnet, make sure it's parallel to the curvature of the machine, and come up and roll it on as well. And that's the proper way to use a magnetic mount. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Tips from Tex. And if you need any more information from IMI Sensors, visit imi-sensors.com. And I hope you have a good day. Talk to you later.